Every year, over 11 million people run marathons all around the world. Which is impressive, really. Bravo to all of you. But for the rest of us 7 billion, 899 million humans on Earth, running a marathon looks, well, a little intense. So that begs the question, what really is a marathon? Does it have to be a race? Do you have to wear a bib? Do you have to do it with 11 million people? Or can you just get on a boat in Maine and run around a bunch of islands all day till you hit 26.2 miles? This film is all about finding out. Welcome to Peaks Island, a 720-acre pile of rock, seagrass, and lobster traps perfectly perimetered by a five-mile running loop. It's cold, it's raining a bit, and the crew's all docked up with everything they need for today. Water, beer, tacos, tortellinis, hot dogs, life jackets, you know, running stuff. Now say hello to the island runners. Six everyday people brought together in the name of putting one foot in front of the other. 26.2 miles feels like a whole lot when you're at zero in the middle of the ocean. But you've got to start somewhere. So just like that, the Islandathon is underway. Not to get all existential, but why do people run? Surely it's not just for exercise. Because if that was the case, these six runners would be prancing like hamsters on a treadmill somewhere. But nope, here they are, hopping off the boat and adding 12 miles to the ticker on Long Island, bringing the daily total to 17. Maybe it's something spiritual that makes people do things like this. Maybe there's something deep inside us that keeps us searching for something more. Or maybe it's just because a taco lunch is waiting back on the dock. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's it. In a normal marathon, there's no celebration till the end. But in this marathon, there's a celebration 17 miles in with a party's worth of tacos, beers, and sunshine. After all, if you're going to spend a day boating around the main coast with your pals, it'd be criminal not to have a proper lunch. It's 
It's been a long day, and these sea legs are getting tired. Since early in the morning, they've run 17 miles with some choppy boat rides in between. Now, one island remains, Great Shabig, with a little over nine miles left. It's at this point when you realize, if you haven't already, that running 26.2 miles is really, really hard. It's hard on your feet, your legs, your stomach. It's even hard on your dog, who's been waiting at home all day and really has to pee. And so one of our runners must bid farewell on the local ferry. Above all, running this far is hard on your mind. Whether you're rubbing shoulders in the city streets or out here on your third island of the day. But sometimes you just have to finish what you started. And finally, the island athon comes to its end. When we look back on our lives, it's days like this that will stand the test of time. Days when we pushed ourselves, but never left the fun of it behind. <laughs> Running isn't about how fast or far you went. After all, the fastest marathon on record took just under two hours. And this one took just under 12. Running is about putting one foot in front of the other, enjoying the view finding the happiness to do it all over again. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar, and you cheat. I just can't quit. Yeah, I did. Kind of. Hey, this was your idea. <laughs> I know. I know. You can keep reminding me. 